Hi, this is Jess with BlondePonyTail.com. Wanted to share with you another prenatal workout um, that's going to incorporate uh, a set of dumbbells and if you have it, a kettlebell, but I can show you some substitutions to make for that. So this is a strength-based workout and then we're going to throw in some heart pumping um, exercises at the end. So to begin with, um, we're going to start with overhead reverse lunges with a single arm. So you're going to take one dumbbell, I'm using a 10 pound weight here, and you're going to hold that overhead. I want you to think about having an active shoulder, so keeping that arm straight. And then you're going to step back, let that back knee gently hit the ground, and then stand back up and alternate legs. So you're going to do 10 reps with the right arm. Once you've done those 10, you're going to switch and do 10 reps with the left arm. So when we're doing reverse lunges, I'll show you from the side, give you a good belly shot as well. We're stepping back far enough that this front knee is not going over our front toes. And then when I am almost pulling myself back up with that front leg, so I'm getting a lot of hamstring and glute work, not only my quads. So it's a nice balance. So 10 on the left arm. Next up, we're going to do low jacks. And you can add a weight if you want or simply do body weight. So low jacks, we're going to think about sinking our butt down and removing the upper body part of a jumping jack. We're going to be here. And you've got 10 of those. Now if you want to add that weight, that's going to increase the intensity and then also give you some upper body work. So we're here, staying low, and I'll show you from the side. So you've got 10 of those. Then we're going to move to a plank to a T position, and then we're going to throw in a plank jack in there. So a lot of core focus, even though we can't really see our core, or you can't see mine, <laughs> um, we can still work on strengthening that. So we're in our plank. We'll go to our T, so I'm just turning on my side, back to my plank add that plank jack, turn to the other side. So you'll do 10 total of those. Um, next up, we're going to do a sumo squat with a row. You can use one or two dumbbells here, so I'll show you both. Sumo squat, what we want is a wide stance. And this is really going to focus on our glutes and our adductors, like inner thigh. Um, we want our toes pointing outward, and then we want our knees following our toes, not coming in here. So we're going to let the weight hang here if we're using just one dumbbell. I'm going to sink down, keep my chest up, never want to be rounded, and then press back up. Legs are pretty much extended at the top, but you never want to really lock out your knees. And then we incorporate that row. So one fluid mo movement, and that's going to be done 10 times. Now, if you want to add two dumbbells and hold them here, same position, and keep that chest up, and then row. From the side, just quickly. Okay, last thing we're going to do is strengthen our shoulders. We still want to work on having strong arms. So just a simple shoulder press. Dumbbells start at the shoulders, raise upward, and then lower at that same speed. So you've got 10 shoulder presses. You can see we're doing 10 reps of all of our strengthening moves. So when you're done with those 10 shoulder presses, we're going to do um, dumbbell, dumbbell swing, or sorry, kettlebell swings. So grab your kettlebell. I'm using a 35 pound kettlebell right now. You can use you know, whatever weight you're comfortable with. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. That way, along with our strength, we're incorporating that you know, kind of cardio element where we get our heart rate up. Um, and that's really gonna help you know, us 
burn a lot and uh, maximize our time during this workout. So we're going to start with our kettlebell here and then we're going to use our lower half to generate the force to raise this kettlebell in about to eye level here. So I'm here, extend those hips. Okay, I'll show you from the side. So it's a lot of glutes, a lot of lower half here. Arms stay straight, they just act as a pendulum. Now, if you don't have a, ke um, a kettlebell at home, no problem. What I like to do is use two dumbbells, place them together, and then let them hang just as you would your kettlebell. And same, same movement, so power generated from lower half to upward. Okay, from the side. Okay, so you've got those five moves and then you're gonna finish with the 30 seconds of kettlebell swings and try to go for five rounds. So if you need to take a little bit of a break in between each round, um, but that's gonna be your workout.